welcome to your tutor online video lessons. Today I'm going to try to show you how to factor quadratic trinomials when a is 1. I'm going to try to do so in about a minute. If you need a little bit more time, click on the link here uh, for an extended, more slowed down uh, explanation uh, of this process. First, we're going to set up our answer, which always looks the same when a is 1. We have two sets of parentheses and x is always in the first spot, or whatever your variable is. Second, we want to look at that c term and write out all of the factors that multiply together to give it uh, we have 1 times 8 gives us 8, 2 times 4 gives us 8 and then we're going to look at those two uh, terms that add or subtract to give us a middle term in this case we have 2 and 4. I'm going to fill them in up here, two, uh, 4 and 2. To get the signs we're going to look at the sign of the last term first which is positive means both of these signs will be the same and we'll look at that middle term it's negative so we know that they're both negative. Alright over here set up the answer exactly the same again, two sets of parentheses, x to begin with, or whatever your variable is. We're going to look at our 18 and get all the factors that multiply together, give us 18, is 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. 2 and 9 will um, subtract together to give us 7, so 9 in one of the spots, 2 in the other spots, and uh, negative is in front of our c term, which means these two signs will be different look at the middle term, it's positive, and it's going to go with the bigger number. Since they're different, this one is a negative. That was about a minute and a half, uh, but again, if you need a little bit more of an explanation, a little bit more slow down. Click on the link here, and you'll see me take you step by step for how to factor quadratic trinomials. I hope this was helpful for you, and happy studying.